dreams. Dreams, dreams are evil, and I prefer nightmares. They show you what goes on in here reflects what goes on out there. Dreams lie. They lead you down a path where white chocolate flows undammed and mulberries, mulberries fall unshaken from the trees. Nothing is less faithful, less real, or more untrue than a dream. I mean, ask yourself, does your every waking moment have to be this hard? I, for one, am tired of spending sleepless nights chasing hesitant tomorrows, biding my time just to spend it mending broken things that have no wish to be fixed. So I will not spin and spin inside this skin. I will not spin and spin inside this skin. I will not mourn a future I never had. I refuse to bleed myself for an almost reality rooted in the distant echoes of a once upon a voice chanting, I know I can, I know I can, because I know I can. Be the girl I am right now. Live the life I have right now. Maybe even choose to be the dream I'm in right now. Maybe then, or maybe then, it won't seem so hard just to breathe right now. <laughs> Tuareg Indigo. I am she who wears color on skin, adorning flesh with desert shades of indigo. My stories tell themselves below eyes, above buttered cheeks. I have no need for a metal sky, a casket carved of bone and mortared in blood. I, I am a million constellations molded of mud, the color of a waking sky. Purple, blue, memories, sandstorm-covered secrets between my beloved, the desert, and I. Poems are bullshit unless they teach. Poems serve no purpose unless they reach the audience they are written for, the ears they are meant for. See, you could write the perfect love poem Tell us how you teased her till she let you touch her. But if she can't remember you, then, sir, I'm afraid your poetry didn't do what it was supposed to. Because I've heard war poems that hid behind fancy syllables and metaphors, quietly comfortable with the thought of coming to blows over why they should fight for anything at all. And once, once I wrote a hope poem, one of those there's a future type poems, but it never spoke till what few wishes we had left broke. I've even seen live poems that wait till the audience is gone, then begin humming softly as a song, murdering any sense of rhythm they might have had at all. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking of crafting an it's too late poem, and I'll build it up till it sounds like, like metal bats against tin cans, loud, loud and outrageous still, might be too little too late, because this generation, this generation wants fast poems that can outrace us, outface us, maybe even take us to where we've never been. Quick as sin, a look at me poem that screams out to the world, you can't even speak your mind, yet you still believe that you and you and we are free from something or someone, anyone, anyone. Give me a neon poem, a black, red, white, yellow, purple, pink, even lime poem that will teach all other wannabe poems how to grow up and become real type poems because poems Poems are bullshit unless they teach, and they serve absolutely no purpose unless they reach someone. <laughs>